starting out in photography can be a daunting task. It's a whole new world of things that you don't know or don't understand and expensive gear that you don't know whether or not you need. So I want to sit down and talk to you about a few things that I can tell you to avoid when you're starting out in photography. I try to make videos for myself five, six, seven years ago, and this is a list of things that I needed to hear. And I hope that you do too. Let's start off with an easy one. Thinking you need an expensive camera. Camera quality has never been better in the history of the world, um, and it's available at a consumer level. Everybody's got an iPhone in their pocket and that makes a great camera. If you find yourself interested in taking pictures, start there. Start with something you already have. You don't need to go out and buy a camera. Start off with your iPhone. Start off with the thing that you have with you every day. That's gonna be the best way to start because it's manageable. You're not biting off more than you can chew with an expensive camera or lenses, or trying to figure all that out right from the jump. Learn that as you go, but get interested in it using something you already have. Let's move on from gear to practice. When I was first starting out, there was a period where my mom would always ask me, when are you gonna go back out and take more pictures? When are you gonna go take pictures? When are you gonna use your camera? When are you gonna go out? The answer I always gave her was, well, I've taken every picture in my city. I don't really, there's nothing else to take pictures of, essentially was what I was saying. And uh, that's maybe the stupidest thing I've done in my career. Uh, in terms of just arrogance, thinking that I had seen everything there was to see and taken every picture that there was to take, when in reality, I can still go back to downtown and take new pictures. I just, you know, in the last six months did that. And I s saw things and made images that I'd never made before. So I proved my 13 year old self wrong. You've never taken every picture. Hammer that in your brain. You've never done it all, you've never seen it all, you've never made it all. Don't let yourself be convinced that there aren't any more pictures to take in your area. And I know it's a temptation because if you live in a small, sort of boring town like I do, um, you're gonna feel that way, but it's not true. You just need to come at it with some new rules or from a new perspective and you'll see things you've never seen before. This segues right into my next point um, and that is stopping learning. You never, ever, ever want to stop learning. And this goes for all of life. But when it comes to photography, you always want to be pushing yourself to do something new, something that you're not familiar with. This could be something like trying out a new style of photography, trying out a new editing style. I find myself doing this often because it's really easy to do. It doesn't take much of you to try out a new editing style. All of these things are going to increase your knowledge of your craft. You're gonna continue learning by doing things that you aren't familiar or comfortable with. If you're a landscape photographer, give street photography a try. It's close enough that you're gonna kinda know what to do, but it's gonna be a learning curve to it. You're gonna have to learn how to navigate people and how close is too close with a camera. That's a fun game. It's gonna be super beneficial for you and you're gonna be glad you did. One of my biggest regrets in my career is um, shunning different kinds of photography. I remember personally shunning studio photography. I was just totally uninterested in studio photography, not against the practice of it, but I had no interest in learning it. And then I uh, took a job working for a summer with this studio that does yearbook photos for a lot of the high schools and sports teams around our area. And that was all studio photography. I sort of came at it with a bad attitude and I regret that in just a huge regret of mine. I sort of came at it with a bad attitude and wasn't interested in learning. I didn't open myself up to be able to learn from that or so I I think now, but what that showed me is how wrong and arrogant that was because a lot of what I learned from that job, I use every single day doing this. A lot of lighting, um, positioning, editing, photo editing, video editing, tons of things from that job I use every single day. And I'm mad at myself, or I was frustrated with myself for not taking more advantage of that job and trying to 
learn every little bit I possibly could from it because now I have to try and learn that on my own or um, try and figure out what I don't know. So don't ever write off any kind of photography just because you think you might not be interested in it. You may very well not be. I'm still not super interested in studio photography, but I know that I don't know everything and a lot of stuff I can learn from studio photography is gonna be beneficial everywhere else. This next point is something that I touched on in a recent video of mine, and that's uh, you can't wait for the work to come to you. If you wanna make money with your camera and if you want to build a business in your area with your camera, you're gonna to have to do the legwork. People are not just going to come to you, at least not for a while. You have to go out and you have to offer up your skills. You have to put yourself out there. Can't wait for people to ask because nine times out of 10, they won't. So you have to prove yourself um, by putting yourself out there, doing a lot of the legwork to build a portfolio and to build a uh, base of clients that you can start making money from. You've got to get connected with people. People have to know that this is what you do and you can do it well. If they don't know that, they're not going to come to you for your services. Go check out that video. I think it's probably going to be really helpful if you struggle with that because I did for a very long time. And the last thing that I will say, and it's something that applies to anybody in this industry, no matter if it's your first year or two of photography or if you've been doing it for 10, 15, 20 years, don't ever stop. Keep doing it. Even when it gets difficult to do, if, even if you're not motivated to go out and take pictures, don't ever let yourself stop. Everybody hits walls with their hobbies and with their passions and with with the things they enjoy, everybody's gonna hit a wall at some point. But don't let that wall turn you away from it. If you really enjoy it, push through and keep doing it. That's the only way that you'll make it through and that's the only way that you'll be able to um, enjoy it even more. So don't ever stop doing it and don't ever stop learning. My career would probably look very different had I done even just some of these things differently in the beginning. And I want to help you avoid avoid looking back on it and regretting decisions you've made. If you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did that. Leaving a like is always super helpful as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope it was helpful. I'll catch you later.